caution and anxiety coming from U.S. allies around the world, urging President Trump to rethink his plan. The president has long supported the idea of backing U.S. steel with tariffs, but the way that he did this, a surprise announcement, no policy rollout, not notifying U.S. friends, even lawmakers, is part of the shock here, and it could have expensive consequences. No outward sign of swirling crises as the president and first lady return to Palm Beach. The Dow is going to close down about 50 points. From a whipsaw on Wall Street to shocked Republicans predicting the president's surprise plan to impose tariffs on steel and aluminum will backfire. I think it's going to increase prices, it's going to hurt jobs. Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross claimed consumers will pay only a fraction more on things from soup to soda. All this hysteria is a lot to do about nothing. Fallout inflamed by potential harm in the global economy for American businesses and workers. The president made his controversial position sound simple on Twitter. Trade wars are good and easy to win. Friday, while the president was away for the Billy Graham funeral, Chief of Staff John Kelly spoke to reporters off camera, trying to shore up his own power. I have absolutely nothing to even consider resigning over. Kelly, who took heat over his management, revisited missteps around the scandal that forced out top aide Rob Porter over spousal abuse allegations. Kelly said, we didn't cover ourselves in glory in how we handled that. Turning to the special counsel investigation, NBC News reports that investigators are looking at the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, and discussions he had with high-profile figures from several countries during the presidential transition. Sources say the special counsel wants to know if those Kushner discussions influenced U.S. policy. Kushner has denied any improper contacts, from the serious to the silly. The president re-engaged his battle with actor Alec Baldwin, whose dying, mediocre career was saved by his terrible impersonation of me. Baldwin gave it back, saying, I'd like to hang in there for the impeachment hearings, the resignation speech, the farewell helicopter ride to Mar-a-Lago. When it comes to those tariffs on imports for steel and aluminum, the president says he'll sign that into effect next week. And that leaves room for those who want to negotiate exceptions or to influence the president's views on this, maybe leaving some room for change. Chanel, we'll see Jeff? what happens. All right, Kelly, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.